Hey, what's up guys? On this video, I wanna show you something really quick. Uh, this is a mini display port. Display, from display port to a mini display port cable. And this is the cable you're gonna need practically to connect your uh, Alienware or any of your laptops that support a mini display port. Cause a lot of these laptops, they don't support display port. And the best way to get the free sync from the 4K monitor is by using a DisplayPort cable, okay? So, the only way you can get the free sync working as it should be, it's through a uh, mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort, okay? And as far as I know, Alienware 17 supports mini DisplayPort. I don't know about the 15 and the other versions, but the one that I have, R17, supports it, okay? And on DisplayPort, it's right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's a Thunderbolt, but you're looking for a mini DisplayPort, okay? And the mini DisplayPort should be right here. There it is, it's right there. That's the HDMI, and this is the mini DisplayPort, all right? That's where this thing's gonna go, right here. All right, and then the first thing you got to do, obviously, it's connect the display port over here, which is right over here. You connect the display port there. Oh, by the way, when you want to remove the display port cable, this is very important. You have to squeeze this. You have to press this and then pull it out. Otherwise, you're going to damage your display port. Now, this monitor, it's a... Uh, UD69P. It's a pretty good IPS 4K monitor. I like it, you know. I mean, you've seen it and uh, it works great. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to connect uh, this to my laptop, which is right over here. And it should work. Let's see. It's right over here. I'm doing this with one hand, guys, so just bear with me. There it is, right there, you see, right here. I'm gonna plug it in. It's a gold plated, it's really good. It's 12 bucks on Amazon, it's gold plated. It's 12 feet, more than enough. You plug it in, okay? Then you turn on your um, laptop right here. And we should see something happening pretty soon here. See, well that's HDMI. So what we wanna do, you wanna click here, go to the inputs, and then click to a display port one, which is right over here. And then it should show up. It should show up. And there it is. There it is from here to here. Now, what you want to do is you can use this as a second screen. You know, one cool thing about having a monitor and a laptop, let's say you're playing a video game. You can use a laptop to do some, I don't know, browsing or uh, whatever it is that you're doing on your uh computer you can continue doing so while you're playing a video game on the other monitor so you can use two of these uh devices which is cool i sometimes do this when i'm like for example uh live streaming something from a pc from this laptop uh, i can look at my comments and everything on this screen and then on this one i'm just playing you know but if you don't want to do this, you can just simply go to the display options and just keep this one over here. Just use this monitor, which I recommend that you do so, because when you do that, when you only select to use this monitor, then you get much better uh, low latency, especially with the FreeSync. So here, I'll show you how to do that really quick. We'll go right over here, and I'm going to... Actually, we can do it right here, as a matter of fact. I can go to the... Uh, Go to the settings, uh, right over here, and then go to the display. And you click on display, identify. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and it says identify. See which one's which. Okay. Click detect. Okay, there's a the resolution right there. Uh, duplicate these monitors, or you can just choose to use show only on one. 
show only on two. So we'll click show only on two, which is this one right here. You see, now it's dark here, but you can always change this, okay? You can always change this. It doesn't have to show only on two. The only reason I use duplicate monitors, it's so I can multitask. You know what I mean? When I'm doing something on the laptop, I could be also playing my video games on a monitor and then doing something on the laptop. But I don't recommend you do that because you're putting too much stress on your laptop. So there it is. And you close it. And you're pretty much all set. You can start a game if you want. Uh, I can start Doom right now. Where is Doom? It's right here. I can click on Doom. I can launch the Doom right now. We'll do this in real time. These are my Sennheiser headphones. Uh, they work pretty good. I like them. I connect them to my uh, monitor. Uh, they're pretty good uh, headphones. Doom. Okay. For some reason, it's not working. Uh, right, crash only. Okay, let's try it one more time. See if it works. Doom is not working properly. There's some issues. Okay, so don't report. I'm gonna have to reinstall it to see what's going on. See, this is the issues you're always dealing with the PC. Uh, let's try Formula One, see if that works. 2017 Formula One. Yes. Steam client, yes. I just want you guys to see how it looks. Hold on, display port. And yes, I have pretty much the same settings on my uh, monitor that I used before, right here. Uh, it's on the game. Uh, my uh, display port right here, where is it? It's at fastest. Free sync, it's an extended, so it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, as you can see, it's extended. I'll close that. All right, so here it is. There's the uh, Code Masters. I mean, you, you might you definitely get a much better quality by using a display port, honestly. Again, you know, I'm doing this via camera. You know, it's kind of hard for you to see through cameras. You know, I get a lot of people complaining and saying, ah, but it doesn't look that good. Look, man, I'm not doing these videos to try to convince you, hey, look, here's the holy grail of all holy grails. There's no way in goddamn hell that you can ever tell what I'm seeing in person via camera especially on your YouTube device, uh, cell phone with some 4G, 3G network. Come on, man. I do these videos to tell you my experience. That's why I do these videos. I don't do these videos to show you, oh, look at this freaking picture. I'm telling you what I'm seeing and I'm telling you what I'm experiencing. That's why I do these videos. In case some of you didn't catch that drift for 12 months now that I've been doing this. And yes, using a display port to your PC, it's definitely the best way, the best quality, the best low latency you're going to get on this monitor, on this 4K monitor. And if you want to experience 4K PC, go get the display port cable. That is my advice, you know. So that's why I, rec that's why I recommend you guys do. I I don't know if I can. I mean, I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So I don't know if I can uh, do any. Let's enter. I don't know if I can do any kind of uh, playthrough here. I would have to like put on a tripod and do something to show it to you, you know. Or maybe I don't know. 
Maybe I can do something with a keyboard just to show you how it looks. Let's do this like really quick and just click somewhere as a, as a demo just to show you. But you'll just have to trust me. It looks more fluid. It looks much better when you're connected via DisplayPort. DisplayPort, that's honestly, for any 4K monitor, for any PC DisplayPort, it's, it's honestly the best way to experience this, this fluidity. And it definitely looks better. Obviously, I don't have my controller connected, so, you know, I can't. I would have to have my controller connected, which is right over here. Maybe I can grab it really quick. It's right over here. I'm doing this with one hand, by the way. I think I deserve a like here for doing this like this with one hand, man. I think I do. I think I deserve it, man. Don't you guys think? Well, actually, we'll plug it right here. We'll plug this thing right over here. Right over here. Hold on. There you go. There's my controller. And let's do this like this. Let's just... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Here we go. Hold on a second. Let me adjust my... Uh... I might have to do some settings here, you know. I might have to adjust the... Uh... I think the HDR might be on, and I have to turn that off because this TV doesn't, uh, this monitor doesn't support HDR, so that's why everything is so bright. I might have to take care of that. But all in all, it runs fast. You know, the, the having a free sync, it's definitely. Uh, you see this? Having a free sync, it's definitely uh, the best way to do it. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's just a little short demo I'm trying to show you. So. Use a, uh, what I'm trying to say here, go ahead and get yourself a uh, DisplayPort cable for your laptop, all right? You're just going to have a much better, smoother experience. And yes, it's going to look much better in, in terms of quality as well. So if you want to get the best possible graphic graphics quality from your PC, uh, I would say grab a DisplayPort cable and you will definitely have that crystal clear resolution that you want from 4K, from native 4K. And that this monitor definitely will feed it much better with low latency and with FreeSync with, its, with the DisplayPort than with the HDMI. I mean, DisplayPort to me, it's always the best when you're using a PC. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, guys. This is nothing new. You probably knew about this. But for those of you who have a laptop and have Alienware and would like to connect your 4K uh, monitor to a laptop, yes, you can do it via HDMI, but DisplayPort, it's a better solution. And if your laptop has a mini DisplayPort, you can use it. You can use a DisplayPort to mini DisplayPort cable and you can enjoy this. You can have it. So just type in, search on Amazon, display port to mini display port cable and you're good to go all right hopefully this video was useful as always thank you have a good one guys